The Gospel of Luke began with a prologue addressed to Theophilus. ACTs likewise opens with an address to Theophilus and refers to my earlier book. Almost certainly the Gospel. The Apostles and other followers of Jesus meet and elect Matthias to replace Judas as a member of the Twelve. On Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descends and confers God's power on them. And Peter and John preach to many in Jerusalem and perform healings, casting out of evil spirits, and raising of the dead. The first believers share all property in common, eat in each other's homes, and worship together. At first many Jews follow Christ and are baptized. But the followers of Jesus begin to be increasingly persecuted by other Jews. Stephen is accused of blasphemy and stoned. Stephen's death marks a major turning point. The Jews have rejected the message and henceforth it will be taken to the Gentiles. The death of Stephen initiates persecution, and many followers of Jesus leave Jerusalem. The message is taken to the Samaritans, a people rejected by Jews, and to the Gentiles. Saul of Tarsus, one of the Jews who persecuted the followers of Jesus, is converted by a vision to become a follower of Christ. An event which Luke regards as so important that he relates it three times. Peter, directed by a series of visions, preaches to Cornelius the centurion, a Gentile God-fearer, who becomes a follower of Christ the Holy Spirit descends on Cornelius and his guests, thus confirming that the message of eternal life in Christ is for all mankind. The Gentile Church is established in Antioch, northwestern Syria, the third largest city of the empire, and here Christ's followers are first called Christians. The mission to the Gentiles is promoted from Antioch and confirmed at a meeting in Jerusalem. Between Paul and the leadership of the Jerusalem Church, Paul spends the next few years traveling through western Asia Minor and the Aegean preaching, converting, and founding new churches. On a visit to Jerusalem he is set on by a Jewish mob, saved by the Roman commander. He is accused by the Jews of being a revolutionary, the ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes, and imprisoned. Later, Paul asserts his right as a Roman citizen to be tried in Rome and is sent by sea to Rome where he spends another two years under house arrest, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching freely about the Lord Jesus Christ. ACTs ends abruptly without recording the outcome of Paul's legal troubles.